Wouldn't cooking at home be easier if you had a little help? Well, why not enlist your kids? Dietitian and nutritionist Wendy Wesley joins us now with some ideas for how we can do that. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is great for spring break. Kids are going to be at home anyway. Mm -hmm. Have some time. Yes. Why not start teaching them things? It is so important to get kids in the kitchen early, early, early and expose them to food and where food comes from. You know, if kids only have pineapple that's already chunked up for them, they mm -hmm. may not know that, a, you know, a pineapple comes to us out of the ground looking like this. It's so important to show kids the, the origin of their food so that they can uh, have a, a broader palate and a greater appreciation for things. I agree wholeheartedly with that, and a lot of moms wouldn't even buy that whole pineapple because they think the thought of, of chopping that myself at home is too much and using my kids help that's unthinkable for many moms well I always look at it as it in the beginning it's a lot of work but then you benefit at the end it's it's a what is it short-term pain long-term gain exactly. so there's so this can be a little time-consuming but after a while your kids will take to the kitchen and uh, it, I hurt myself uh, hurt my ankle a couple of years ago and my son because he knows how to cook got in he cooked for me. And that's because you had taught him. I had taught him. Right, yes. So what can we do specifically, let's say, with the pineapple that even a little kid can help with? Right, right. So parent does the heavy lifting of, of cutting the big pineapple. And just to, this, this pineapple was $2.99 in the store yesterday, $2.99, but cut up $10.99. What? Yes. What? Yes. 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 Okay, well, there's reason enough there's to reason buy the enough. whole pineapple. Right. I, I teach fruit cutting classes because this is such an incredible way to save money in the grocery store. So this is just a pie cutter from the grocery store. So this is good for a toddler, even two, three. I know it's... Look at that. Yeah. yeah. No one's going to hurt themselves. Yeah. So you get the kid and ask the kid to cut the pineapple. Push down and saw, and there it is. No one's getting cut, and then we have kids involved in the kitchen. You can have them arrange the fruit on the plate. And then you can have the, in, invite the kids to put the skewers in the pineapple. That's another job. And then the most fun job of all is putting the fruit in the uh, chocolate. chocolate spread and eating, right? Like that, <laughs> like that. They'll definitely want to be part of that. They'll definitely want to be part of that. So I also encourage um, parents to take their kids on farm tours. There's a lot of fantastic farms in the Tampa Bay area that have open house every Saturday. So take the kids on a farm tour. Um, they get to see the, the plants coming out of the ground and it may ignite some um, interest in cooking later on. A hundred percent, especially when you go to Plant City, come back with all those strawberries and then mm -hmm. you have strawberries for months. Yes. you got to figure out something to do with them. Right, absolutely. Um, you, you know, giving kids, again, this, this, little, this little pie cutter and having them cut it, so simple so simple and then it's you start small and then also for kids that are a little older eight or nine mm -hmm. get, put a real knife in their hands don't okay. be afraid of it get them going on knives early i work with a lot of uh, young people who have really never held a chef's knife they're afraid to hold it mm -hmm. and i put it in their hands and i said you know it's it's okay it's gonna it's gonna be all right and that's how i get people going with cooking as i introduce them to knives but if you introduce kids young with knives they're going to use knives the rest of their lives right. in the kitchen. So if they've gotten the hang of it with this, mm -hmm. as toddlers, eight or nine, you say, is okay to go ahead and, and start the chef's knife. Yeah, I got my son going at six. Wow. It scared me to death. Your goals. But, Your goals. Uh, yeah, he was a little crazy with it. But now he's he's an expert expert with a chef's knife. I mean, I think this is such a win-win because not only do you get help that you need, mm -hmm. but the confidence that you see on yeah. their face, the independence that you're teaching, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a win-win. It sure is. Sure is. All right. Very good. Wendy Wesley, thank you so much. You're going to have to come back and show us exactly how to cut a pineapple. Well, Leah, that, that's, so another, that's another that's, segment. That's another great lesson another altogether. Day. Also, cantaloupes, honeydews, we're going to get into melon season, and we need to know how to carve these big melons so we can save money. Because chopped up, they are a lot more expensive, as we learned today. And you can visit wendywesleynutrition.com for more recipes, meal plans, and all things nutrition. Daytime, we'll be right back.